Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a little bit of a review, what I would call a pocket chainsaw. This company reached out to me, asked me if I'd like to do a review on their product. I said, sure, why not? I think it fits on the channel. Let's take a look at it. So let's dive right into this thing and I'll share my thoughts on what I think about it. So before we get started, let's take a look what's in the box. A pair of gloves, instruction manual, the saw, battery charger, battery, spare chain, screwdriver, brush, oil bottle, wrench. All right, guys, the way I see it, these things have a couple places on the homestead. One, this is absolutely fantastic idea for pruning, cutting down small branches off of trees, especially if you have a cab tractor like myself. When you're out in the woods, cruising down your trails, a tree branch might hit your cab. You wanna go ahead and cut that off. It's great to have this thing in the cab of the tractor. Quickly remove that tree limb. It is a nice size. The other thing I, th I see this saw good for is car camping. Let's say you're going on a family camping trip or a solo camping trip, whatever. Maybe you're in your car this time. This thing would be the ultimate saw at camp. The third use I see this thing for is cutting those two to four inch limbs into firewood. Now, a lot of people will just leave that kind of stuff laying in the woods and they'll, they'll go after the bigger stuff. I like to utilize as much as the tree as possible. So I tend to cut that little stuff up and uh, use it for kindling or campfires around the property or even in my fireplace for getting the fire going. So I think this size saw is, is perfect for cutting up that little stuff. When you're trying to cut it with a bigger saw, it just moves around. You put your foot on it. You take the risk of cutting your foot off with your chainsaw. Who knows what could happen? That's where one of these would come in handy. So I think the best thing for us to do is to take this little saw out and cut some limbs with it and then See how much time you can get out of it with just one single battery. I'll put a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link of this chainsaw if you're interested in one for yourself. My guess is a pretty good amount. This thing is, feels like it's got some power. So let's go take it out and cut some wood. Enough talking. Well, there you go, guys. Got a pretty good sized pile of uh, firewood here and a pretty good sized pile of brush. Overall, it's it's pretty good. I mean, 30 minutes straight cut time. There was a little bit of messing around with cameras and stuff, but not a lot. 
Uh, so we'll say we'll say 30 minutes, about 30 minutes of cut time. Pretty nice size pile of firewood and a pretty nice size pile of brush. Now we'll say this: I have the steel version of this. Uh, it's a smaller smaller battery. I believe roughly the same size bar and chain. Um, it costs quite a bit more. I think about $170, $169. I don't remember for sure. Somewhere around there. And it also only comes with one battery. And it is not as powerful as this, this thing. I hate to say that. Uh, still, you can do better. This thing's got, got a pretty good amount of power. I can put quite a bit of uh, pressure on these uh, logs, cutting them. And even some of this stuff, you know, is, is pretty good size for that little blade to cut. Quite a bit of power out of that little guy. So overall, I like it. I, I think this thing's great. Uh, it's definitely got its place on the homestead here. Obviously, it's not going to be a tool I take out to work all day, but it's nice for little stuff like this. Uh, what I would probably normally do is go through this pile with my chainsaw, cut up uh, as much of the big stuff with the chainsaw as possible, and then uh, process down the little stuff, you know, this little stuff with this handheld at a later time. Maybe cut it in like six foot, eight foot long section, something manageable, and then process that later. But I just wanted to bring this out and test it, put it through its paces, and then uh, make a video for you guys. So if you're interested in one of these, the affiliate link will be in the description down below. Tell me what you think in the comments. If you guys have something similar to this, I'd love to hear about it. And if you have idea, uh, a way of processing this small stuff, you know, what is that? Two, three inch diameter, three to four inch diameter firewood. Tell me how you process that in, your, in the description down below. I'd love to see it. That's it for today. We'll see you guys in the next video.